Welcome back everyone. Some of you may be having some iMessage problems for your iPhone, so let's go and talk about some common iMessage problems and pretty much how to fix them. Now, first of all, the number one issue that most people have, and the way I'm getting these things is from my second channel, pretty much the most popular videos from there, I'll just sum up into this video. Now, one of the most common issues are messages not sending. Now, what does this mean? Well, essentially you're trying to send out an iMessage to somebody and either the message isn't sending it, maybe the message has to be sent via a text message instead of iMessage. And there are so many things that go along with this, but the main thing that happens time and time again in this specific you know, situation is if your specific iPhone is not connected to a proper network connection or you don't have any signal or the person you're trying to send the message to for some reason, maybe they have their phone completely off, maybe their phone isn't working or maybe that phone number isn't working anymore. Now the first thing I'd recommend doing here is going straight into you know your settings application. You want to check your Wi-Fi connection or your cell connection. So make sure you're connected to either a Wi-Fi connection or whatever. You then want to go and make your way over to some like Safari browser or internet browser, whatever it is. You can go and open up some websites like apple.com. And you want to see if there's any time where for some reason the device is just taking a very long amount of time. Is this the Prince William guy? Oh, yeah, it is. If for some reason the websites are taking very, very long amounts of time to pretty much load up, then you may have found your issue. Your specific network that you're connected to may be very slow and it's not sending out even the most basic iMessage. So if that ends up being the case, that's probably what I would recommend doing. If for some reason that doesn't fix it, you can always try restarting your phone, connecting to a better network connection, connected to your data connection instead, and then trying out sending out that specific message that way. That will pretty much fix it for a majority of people out there. If that still doesn't work, you can always try updating your iPhone, which is going to be one of the more common ways to fix these things, which I'm going to be honest. I'm going to make your way over to your settings. You am going to click general. You want to click software update. You just want to literally update your specific panel right here. And as long as you're updated, you should be good to go. Now, another very common issue that I've seen time and time again is the iMessage activation error. Now, what is this? Well, essentially, you may be somebody who's trying to go ahead and actually turn on iMessage within your settings panel. So maybe if you go into your settings, if you click on messages, which is down here, whenever you click this, maybe it'll just keep telling you that iMessage is not activating. Now, from my experience, the number one way to fix this time and time again is to actually make your way over to your general settings for your iPhone, which is right here. You want to scroll down until you see date and time, which is right here. What you want to do is you want to make sure your time zone is set on automatically. If your time zone is not set on automatically, sometimes the time zone that you're connected to, there may be some issues there. And it's for some reason, I don't know why this happens, but sometimes there can be some issues there. So the best thing you can do is to actually turn this on to set automatically, restart your iPhone, come back into your you know settings panel, turn on messages right here, and you want to turn this specific option on. I will be honest, I think a majority of you will know this, that will probably end up fixing it. If not, you can also update your iPhone like how we mentioned before, click general, software update, and you should be good to go for the most part. Now another issue some people have with an iMessage is if their notifications aren't working. So sometimes the messages aren't going through properly or whatever. Well, if this ends up being the case, the first thing I recommend doing is making sure you're not on do not disturb mode. So if you swipe down from your control center up here, you'll see this do not disturb mode. You can see I'm actually on. If you go and hold it down, sometimes you can hold it down, sometimes you can't. You want to make sure you're off a of do not disturb mode, or at least you have your settings, you know, tinkered around for do not disturb mode to actually, you know, get messages going through. Now, if that doesn't work and you're still not able to get notifications, you want to go ahead and go back into your settings panel right here. You want to click notifications, which is right here. And you want to scroll down until you find your messages notifications right here. So you want to click on messages and you want to make sure this says allow notifications. Now, if this doesn't say allow notifications and this is turned off, well, you pretty much found your problem. You basically were not able to get notifications because this was turned off. So you want to make sure this is turned on. And you also want to make sure that that message you're going through when you're actually texting, you want to make sure that is not on silent mode either. So you can see there's a little silent mode toggle. You want to make sure there's not a moon or a little silent option right next to it, because if there is, then you pretty much found the fix to your problem. Now, those are pretty much the main issues that you may be having. Now, sometimes people may say like, oh, when I open up iMessage, it just crashes or there's other miscellaneous problems. Well, the best thing to do in this case, again, like I mentioned before, is to update your iPhone. Because if your iPhone, again, is on a very outdated version of software, you're going to have problems regardless. So you want to go ahead and make your way back into settings, click general, click software update, and you should be good to go if you go ahead and just update your iPhone this way. So. That's pretty much it. That's how to do it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.